When one thinks about the music industry's biggest night, it is hard not to also consider all the glamorous events and gatherings leading up to the Grammy Awards. One event, in particular, has become an annual tradition for a very long time, making it a go-to spot for superstars. Welcome, viewers, to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Music executive Clive Davis's pre-Grammy affair has been taking place the night before the award ceremony since 1976. The White Hot Party is known for its surprise performances and duets, star-studded guest list, and, as Davis puts it, its stunning crowd. The Grammy-winning producer even admitted that the guest demand is the highest it's ever been, making it significantly more challenging to turn people away this year. He noted that this year's performances will feature a blend of legendary all-time performers and incredible new artists. Days before the event at the Beverly Hilton Hotel, music industry and press insiders were present for credentialing when a security threat from an anonymous individual occurred at the nearby Waldorf Astoria. The Beverly Hills Police Department later reported that officers had detained a suspect and would remain on the scene to investigate. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Davis discussed some of his favorite past performances at the annual party, the pressure to outdo each celebration, and teased the star-studded guest list. Music executive John Platt is being honored at the celebration with the Grammy Show Salute to Industry Icons Award, and he will be there with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Does that mean we can expect them on Saturday? From the world of sports, Scotty Pippen and Martina Navratilova will be in attendance. In politics, Nancy Pelosi will be there, along with key figures from Apple, Spotify, and nearly every major label head, as well as stars who have never attended before. It's truly exciting. It really will be a stunning crowd, Davis said. It's challenging because we have to accommodate some of the newer key players in the world of streaming, social media, film, and entertainment. We clearly have to make some cuts. So whether it's passing the gavel or asking that individuals come without a plus one, we've had to make adjustments. The crowd is limited to 950 people due to our production facilities, and it's tough, but we have to do it. I really can't respond to that question about not letting certain celebrities in. There are individuals with significant careers who might have been allowed to bring their spouses, and we have to say, look, we would never turn you down, but you can't have a plus one. We always try to make it the best of all time. By keeping that bar and standard high, somehow we do it because every year, when it ends, they all say, my God, as great as the history has been, this was the best ever.